So I've got a brand new retro bat setup guide for you today, and this is going to be enabling cheats. And we're going to be using RetroArch to do this. And we can also apply cheat files to emulators which we download within RetroBat, but that's likely going to come at a later time on my channel. So today we're looking at RetroArch in specific, how to download your cheat files within RetroArch, and how to activate them through RetroBat. So in this setup guide, I'm going to cover it a lot. So if you want to beat some of the hardest games in existence, and we're talking about Nintendo NES games here, and likely Commodore 64 games too, then this is the video for you. Check this one out. Okay then, so before I start today's setup guide, if you like what you see today, make sure to hit notifications, subscribe and like so you get up to date retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie as I release it, which is pretty much every day nowadays. Now, every now and again, people will ask me on the channel, how do you enable cheats through RetroBat? So it's actually pretty simple to do. So what we're gonna do first is just go into the RetroBat shortcut now bear in mind, I'm using the beta version of this, which I did a little video on earlier on today. So if you're interested in beta version six, then check out that video. But for this, I'm gonna just use this as the regular uh, version of RetroBat. So we're just gonna go into the file location of RetroBat. And once we're inside RetroBat, what we need to do is go into emulators and from emulators, we need to go into RetroArch, which is just here. So once we're inside of RetroArch folder, we're gonna just scroll down until we find the RetroArch.exe. Open up RetroArch. Now what we're gonna do first is go to Online Updater, and from here, we're gonna just scroll down until we get to Update Cheats. And this is gonna download in its strat into RetroBat lots of different cheat files which is going to pretty much cover every system that RetroArch covers and when I say this encompasses covering cheats for every game ever released then you'll see what I mean in a minute so let's just wait for this to extract which shouldn't take too long so what we're going to do is just back out of RetroArch and I'm going to go down to now what we're going to do next is just back out of the RetroArch folder within RetroBat. So back once and then we're going to come out again and this time we're going to go to the Cheats folder. Now you'll see several different folders here but the one we're doing this for today is going to be for RetroArch. So if we go inside RetroArch, before I extracted all this using RetroArch Online Updater, this would have been completely empty. So like I say, this is going to provide the cheat codes for literally every single game which RetroWatch supports. And of course, RetroBat supports RetroWatch, it runs course. So what I'm gonna do is use firstly a Nintendo NES game. So if I go to the Nintendo Entertainment System folder, inside of here, we're gonna find a lot of .cht files and each one of these is a cheat code. Now just bear in mind that your game regions will need to match the regions of these cheats. So what I'm going to do is just scroll down and there's a specific game I'm looking for which is Chippendale Rescue Rangers. So here's Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Now we got the European cheat for this is where was the United States of America cheat version of this. We've also got our action replay cheat and a Game Genie cheat for Chippendale. So we know we got the cheats now, so what we're going to do is just back out of here. And I'm going to quickly hop inside of my ROMs folder, my Chippendale Rescue Rangers game. So obviously we're going to look for NES. Let's go inside of NES and I'm going to just drag and drop. So once you've got your games in and you kind of understand what the files represent through their regions, then we're going to open up RetroBat again. Okay, so we're inside RetroBat, so what we're going to do first is show you how to do this. So, open up Nintendo, here's my game, let's just open... Okay, 
Right, so I've just gone into quick menu, and this is obviously the quick menu for RetroArch. So to do this, I'm pressing select and A on my controller. And what we're gonna do is just scroll down until we come to cheats. And in cheats, your second option down is load cheat file replace. If we go inside there, this is all of our folders, which we just downloaded using RetroArch. Now I'm gonna be looking for Nintendo Entertainment System. If we go inside here, and here's all of those files, which we just downloaded. So you can scroll down here. I'm just using my R1 button just to make this go down a lot faster. Okay, so here's the Chip and Dell files, and this is obviously the cheat codes. So what I'm gonna do is just select one of these and I'm gonna press A. And if I scroll down, I'm gonna to go to apply changes. And as we see, applying cheats changes. So let's just do that first. Now below apply cheats, you're gonna find all these different cheats for this specific game. And this is gonna be the same for any game that you want cheats on. So anyone, it's anyone that knows Nintendo NES games, then you'll know how this game works. So first of all, so we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna to go to no zipper time and i'm going to go to enable and i'm going to turn this one on and if i come back out there as we can see that's now definitely turned on we're also going to apply infinite lives so again we're going to press a on that and i'm going to turn that on so we're enabled on and come back out infinite energy Again, I'm going to enable this one and come back out. And you know, the cheats are endless for this, so we can even turn on invincibility. So again, just enabled on, and that's it. So like I said, uh, these cheats have got loads. There, there's a lot here. So once we've enabled the cheats that we want, what we're going to do again is just go down to apply changes. And I recommend if this apply after toggle is turned off, just turn this one to on. And what I'm gonna do then is I'll just come out of here and out again, quick menu and resume. So there we go. Like I say, anyone that knows that game, um, obviously you don't start chipping down with invincibility. You certainly don't walk through the robot mouse switch or try to get you. And you can see where this cheat is enabled. In fact, when we bumped into Zipper just now, he disappeared. Uh, normally you get that funky music, which makes you invincible for around 30 seconds. And that's it for the retro arch side of cheating through retro bat. So like I said at the start of the video, if you like what you see today, make sure to hit notifications, like and subscribe so you don't miss any more retro bat setup guides. And I've got plenty in my playlist for you to get through if you're new to my channel. And also be sure to check me out on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. But until next time, stay retro.